Good afternoon and welcome to our coverage of the descent and landing of the IM2 mission. I'm Josh Marshall, Communications Director of Intuitive Machines. And I'm Leah Cheshire with NASA Communications. This flight is conducted under contract with NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. 15. 15 seconds. RCS settling burn. Settling burn, that's our attitude control system. Ignition commanded. Ignition and main stage. All right, let's go ahead and start our stopwatches here. Cameras are running. We'll be listening for that max thrust. FM mode is breaking one. Max. Chamber pressures look nominal. Good calls. They're not going in at 100% here, Leah. They're going so. in about 90% in case they need a little bit more oomph on this breaking burn. Again, this is in about yeah, good control. About an 11 minute burn, but the engine does not cut off at the end of this burn. It just continues to throttle down until we land softly on the lunar surface. Remember, this is data being streamed down from a lander that's breaking about 4,000 miles per hour, trying to feed that data back a quarter million miles away. 10 minutes into the burn, so expecting just about a minute more until the end of this braking maneuver. LOS on Quasonics. There's that loss of signal on one of the radio systems. We approach 12 minutes into PDI. We are approaching approximately the time that we estimated Athena would touch down on the surface. We did hear a call out for a Quasonics LOS. That is our radio system, something we expect to happen at pitch over. Uh, that's prior to a vertical descent and terminal descent. We can't Prop, what are you saying on the engine? The engine is still in idle at min thrust. We are still seeing chamber pressure. I'm showing that we are sensing lunar acceleration. So we're on the surface, let's evaluate. All right, so that's a picture during braking, about 10 kilometers MD, up from this the is lunar surface that so we do have while we wait we for a little more We can confirm the engine is still running um, and therefore needs to be upright. If we were in a different configuration, the engine would have snuffed. Okay, so we have confirmation. I believe that was from Khan that says the engine's still running. This picture you're looking at? The 10 kilometers up during that braking burn, that powered descent initiation, that long burn that brought us 4,000 miles per hour braking burn. Incredible shot Yeah, that's there. what I'm saying as well. All right, there's another view there. Uh, looks like from this panel, we're looking at the garage. So that's a lunar outpost map rover inside of that square right there, Leah. And this looks like it's probably about the same altitude, maybe about 10, 10 meters above the surface. And one more here for everyone. It's about the same altitude there, maybe a little bit more exposure, but these- The camera's still running in HRN mode. These photos came down for us just a few moments ago. Wanted to share those before we jump back into mission control as flight controllers are looking at this dynamic situation and learning. Yeah, go ahead and put us in landed ops. Second. It looks like we're down. We need to evaluate that situation and I'd like to get a picture. But a couple things that we do have that we can confirm. Athena is on the surface of the moon. The team is going through the process of powering down systems that are not required. We heard the mission director call out that we do have solar charging, so we continue to hear them in our ear that they're turning off different systems that are not required. We are working to figure out the orientation of the vehicle, which is important because those are our antenna systems that will determine how much signal we're going to have and when we can start bringing down things like vehicle health data and other images that can help us to confirm.